Hello, Jesse Good here, and today we're reviewing a 1980 Lego Fabulous set for Throwback Thursday. It's Charlie Crow's Carry All. This is unopened, and I don't have much info on it. I don't know how much it retailed for back in the day, but let's open it up. I try not to rip it, but oh well. Let's pour out the pieces. So I believe that's everything. There's even an assortment guide, which is pretty cool. I could cover that in a separate video because it looks pretty thick enough to uh, have a whole bunch of sets. And let's get into the minifigure. Here is Charlie Crow, and I believe this minifigure is exclusive to the set for the torso, which combined with that uh, crow head is only found in this set. The crow head itself actually seems to have like spray painted black paint on it. So mine, even though it was never opened, has a little bit of marks on it, but I guess that's okay. You can see there's like this mark right here. But other than that, you know how Fabulous minifigure works. You know, they're about a little bit taller than Lego minifigures and they have full rotation on their head all around like that. And their arms are very similar to Lego minifigures, except you can't rotate their hands and their legs can actually be received on four studs down there. So that's it for the minifigure. And now let's go on to the set itself. So here's the set all together. First, we'll take a look at the carryall kind of garbage truck. And there's a lot of old defunct molds. For example, this hood mold is very cool. It's a nice hard plastic, but it's also very smooth on the top. I love this molding, it's very well done. That's in that nice red color. I will definitely try to incorporate this in more modern Lego City builds. And once you remove that, this is actually a little space where you would put Charlie Crow. Honestly, not really a fan of the inside of this vehicle. I think it's the weakest part of the set because there's no steering wheel or seat or anything. It just looks a little bit, I don't know, empty and vacant. But other than that, I mean, it's a pretty well-made vehicle. I also like the molding for the car doors, which are defunct and old like the hood. You can see that you just kind of open them like that, and they're pretty big car doors and very thin. And on the front, you can see it has that nice printing. The molding for the actual, like, car uh, structure seems to be something they used maybe for, like, a train because it has this front kind of part right here and then this hook on the back meaning that you would connect multiple ones to make a big train but I might be wrong about that I'm not too into Lego trains especially classic ones and on the back they give you these two utensils which is a shovel and a broom so that you could sweep up all the garbage of course this back area is so that you could put the second build of the set this little garbage can in there and this garbage can is a really nice mold it's big enough to actually fit a full minifigure as long as they're not wearing a helmet you can see Iron Man without a helmet fits in there pretty darn secure. And actually this top kind of uh, lid right here is a pretty loose fit, but it's still sturdy. So it's loose, but sturdy. So that's actually pretty neat. And that could just fit on the back of the vehicle just like that. So that is it for the carryall build. And let's go on to the packaging and the instructions and then the final verdict. So the instructions included is this nice little storybook which on the back it just it explains Charlie Crow's work as a garbage uh, man. And you can see he says, Charlie Crow has a very important job. He makes sure the streets of Fabulous are queen. He sweeps and picks up the garbage and he places the trash in his truck and then drives it out of town. And now you got that nice kind of drawing. And then it says the dear parents. Fabulous is the name of blah, 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 blah. That's actually in a lot of the other sets. Also, there's the assortment guide, which I'll actually save for another video because I want to take an in-depth look at this sucker. And the box itself is something I looked at earlier, but you can just see it's a really cool design box. I love how they have all these multiple pictures and everything on here. And you can see that it seems like Charlie Crow likes going into the trash as well. So overall, I really like this set. It's a nice little carryall car. It's a cool pickup truck. There's some nice pieces. I love this little hood piece. I think that's a really nice piece as well as a big trash can. Both of those I'm going to try to incorporate in a modern LEGO City design because I think these defunct pieces are kind of underrated and they can be very useful. The same goes with the car doors as well. I like the sturdiness of the build of the car. It's really cool and something, usually, I don't know, with these older sets, I expect them to be very kind of not sturdy and, and very not well put together, but I think this is a pretty well put together vehicle. It's very simple, but it still works. And also this nice trash can mold is awesome because it is defunct and it's a huge trash can that could fit a minifigure. So just as a modern collector, I really like this, but also as a Fabuland fan, it looks like it's one of the better deals for the smaller cars. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye.